Hey everyone, this is Kevin from the Thrifting Lounge and in today's video I'm going to show you what's sold on eBay and how you can make $1,200 in a week too. Stay tuned. After we get into what's sold on eBay in this video, I would love to hear what your best sale was by putting it in the comments below. When I revealed to you my 17 sales that sold on eBay, Everything that we had came from estate sales and thrift stores where I paid no more than $10 per item. So now let me show you what I sold on eBay. First up, I got a pair of vintage military combat boots. They are Vietnam era, search spike protectant, and these are RO search. I bought these because immediately when I saw them, all I thought about was Shia LaBeouf. He's made these things really, really popular lately. I bought these for $10 and sold them for 50. Along with these ones, I bought another pair of military boots that sold also for $50, actually today. It's not gonna be in this video, maybe in the next one, but they're all black from the Gulf War. I have a pair of cowboy boots, vintage from Nocana. I've never heard of this company, which to me is pretty rare. And uh, when I bought them, I didn't think that I was gonna sell them for much, but I listed them pretty high like I always do, and I got $50 for them. I bought these at the same time as I bought the military boots about two weeks ago. These I paid $8 for and I sold them for 50. Here's a couple pictures of them. Next up I have is a Ralph Lauren blazer. I've actually been selling a lot of these lately. This is the third one I've sold in about a couple weeks. This one I paid for $6.50 and then we sold it for $52.50. Here's a couple pictures of them. We got these at Goodwill, along with a couple other things that week. My fourth sale that I sold on eBay is a military style peacoat. I sold about four of these in the last month and they went really quick. Any of the peacoats that I would list, they sold within a week. So I'm, I'm guessing towards the tail end of winter time, they go pretty quick. And this one we paid $5 for and then we sold it for $45. The other two went for about $60 and $80, but they also had the anchor style buttons. These ones don't. And then our fifth one, we have Cordofield corduroy jacket from the 1970s. This one had a major issue on it. It smelled bad. I didn't think I was gonna get it out, but I went out to the store and bought these dryer sheets from Woolite that's specifically for wool. And you can put these in the dryer for 20 minutes. And I was surprised actually it worked. When it came out of the dryer, it smelled fresh. I could not seriously believe it. I thought I was going to have to write to the buyer and tell him, listen, this thing has a smell. It has an issue. I don't know if you still want it. Um, but he did. He gave me good feedback on it. So that smell obviously came out, which I'm really surprised on. So what I'm also going to do is on the bottom below, I'm going to put a link to the wool light dryer sheets and then if you have any issues with wool, rayon, or even silk, you can throw those in the dryer for 20 minutes, only 20 minutes, or else you're gonna ruin the fabric. On this one, I paid $3, and then we sold it for $63. And that one took about three weeks to sell. Next up, I have a vintage shirt from Eli Diamond. Now these shirts, I don't ever really pick up unless they, they're rare. You know, if you go and you do your comps on eBay by going through the solds, and seeing what your competition is out there. You'll obviously see with, with Eli Diamond that there's a lot of competition out there and not enough sales that go around. And this one actually took me a little while to sell. It took me about three weeks. But when I did sell it, I bought it for $3 and I sold it for $30. Normally, any other cowboy shirt from them will go anywhere from about $15 to $25 max. But this one I knew I liked a lot because of the embroidery on the chest and specific to someone that's, that's into ranch wear or cowboy shirts like this. The next item I sold on eBay is this gorgeous burgundy red Hugo Boss blazer. This one we bought for $4 and took a best offer on this for $67. I had it for probably about a month, but it seems like this within the last couple weeks, my blazers are going a lot faster than normally. I'm thinking that people are trying to get stuff for like the first of the year. This one was a really good sale from Hugo Boss. 
I have a lot of them listed and I've sold quite a few of them in the last couple months, but then they staled out for a little bit and it seems to be picking up because I just recently sold another one. On this North Face ski pants, my girlfriend actually found these and picked these up. I was gonna kind of pass on them because I'm like, ah, they'll probably go for 15, $20. But when she actually did the research and looked at the solds, they were going for decent money. On these, we paid for only a dollar, so we couldn't say no. And then we sold these $37. Uh, these are really nice and they actually cut off like if you look down here the pants are cut off also So you can use them in the summer and then also use them for winter pants. So these were a pretty cool find I don't ever really grab GH bath a lot of times they are beaten up These ones were in really good shape I would say almost close to new besides there was some a little bit of wear in the bottoms But uh, with the cord of in leather, I wouldn't pass on these things on these, I paid $5, and then we took a best offer of $38, and that sold actually within two days. So some of these sales that I sold last week sold quite quickly. I don't know if it was because we were listing a lot. Uh, another little tip, what we do is we like to list at least six items a day. Next up, I got this gorgeous Brooks and Dunn by Panhandle Slim Western shirt. It has the cool little rope embroidery around the chest this one i paid three dollars for it turned around and took me about two months to sell i sat on it for a little while and i sold this one thirty dollars but with these ones it's the first time i've actually found a brooks and dunn so i was a little bit excited because i found some other panhandle slims in the past and they do fairly well for me and there's a lot of competition out there but i tend to sell them fairly quickly number 11 are our top 17 sales from last week on ebay is this gorgeous Moda International rabbit hair wool turtleneck sweater dress. And this, this thing is bright red. And we picked this up for $3 and turned around and sold it for $38 within one day. This one sold really quick. If, if you don't know me by now, I'll pick up anything when it comes to women's dresses because I, for me, my girlfriend has a lot of good style senses. So when she tells me, hey, like pick this up, it should go for good money. Normally when I see Moda, International, I don't touch it because it just doesn't go for much. But since this had the rabbit hair, I think this is probably the only reason why I picked this one up. But it was a really good sale. So again, we sold that for $38 and bought it for $3. So on this one from California Design, it's, a, it's from the 1960s. It's got that long front collar. We sold this about three weeks ago and I got it back on a return because the guy said it had stains, which I noted in the description around the cuff area. And it weren't, wasn't too bad. And he gave me positive feedback. And then like three days later, he opened up a case, which is fine because I accept all returns. So uh, even though it was his mistake, he should have read the description in the condi item condition. I had no problem taking it back because I knew if I took it back, I'd resell it in a heartbeat. And that's exactly what happened. It took me about three hours to sell this thing. And I had two best offers, but on this one, I bought it for $4 originally. And then the first time I sold it was like $30. So when I took it back and resold it, I sold it for $35. This next one, I've literally had for about five years. Since before I came back, I had this thing, it just wouldn't sell. So finally, I took a best offer of 60 bucks on it. I paid $7, but I was just glad to get this thing out of here. I've had it for so long, it was just collecting dust in my closet. But I mean, it's a bespoke. Ermine Gildo Zegna. It's the high performance version of theirs. I think the issue of selling it, it has those high peak double breasted front. Those tend to sit a little while because they're more formal. And this one, I wouldn't say is formal at all because it's not black or white, more like tuxedo kind. This had a green wool that was a little rough around the edges. I'm glad I got rid of it. it took me five years. It was time for that thing to get out of here. We have my favorite brand to sell, Ralph Lauren. These ones are cashmere wool. I think it's 97% cashmere, 3% wool. And these are also super 120s. Uh, a lot of times if I, if I see the regular plain black or white wool Ralph Lauren pants, I don't ever pick them up because it's more like $15, $20 all day long. But these ones were cashmere wool and it had a cool micro houndstooth pattern on it. And then it was also super 120, so that's why I picked it up too. These I paid $2 for and sold them for $45.50. Really good profit margin, especially when you pick something up like this for $2, you really can't go wrong. And I picked these up at the same time as I picked all those boots up for. So that at all, that, that made my money back uh, throughout the whole thing. I think I paid $100 in my whole haul and I've already made about 250 back on everything. I have five other things I've sold from that haul that equaled that. So, and I still have a lot more stuff that I picked up um, 
this one thrift store called Sita. Uh, and they helped a lot of the homeless people. And every last Saturday of the month, you can go in there and they do dollar bags. So you grab as many items you want and you put them in there and it's only a dollar. And I think I walked out with like 20 bags and then the shoes, which were normally priced like five, ten dollars So I got those at normal price. It had no problem making its money back and I knew it. So if you can go in to a situation where you know like you can get a bunch of stuff super cheap and you know it's gonna sell, do it all day long. Just don't make sure you don't get, get over your head. So on this and the next Danellas, I actually sold them to the same customer uh, and I did the combined shipping. So he got a really good deal on the shipping. He got $8 for both of them and it only cost us about $12 a ship, but I gave him a $4 discount on it because he was buying both of them. We paid $7.50 on both of these Zanellas and then we sold them for $60 combined. Also, I'm still waiting for like 15 other Zanellas to sell on my eBay store. Next up on what sold on eBay this week is this gorgeous blue SEC football conference, Peter Millar. I sold these new without tags because as you can see, it has the tag right here, but it's missing the paper tag on it. I was able to still sell it new with tags because it was in pristine condition. This one I bought for $4 and we took a best offer of $30 and that sold about two weeks. Now the last item on what we sold on eBay this week is these gorgeous Oxford Cole Haan men's shoes with black leather. Uh, they're the Quincy model. I tried these on. I bought these in an estate sale along with another pair of Cole Haans, which I use on my daily use for work as dress shoes. These ones were a little bit too big, about a half size too big, but they had absolutely no wear on them when I bought them. I bought this in an estate sale. I paid $5 for them and I took best offer of $35. Thank you for watching. And that's what sold on eBay this week. Again, on the comments below, let me know what your best sales were this week. If Thanks. you're urgent to learn more on how to buy and resell on eBay or any other platform, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Thrifting Lounge. And also, we have a thriving Facebook community of over 20,000 resellers just like you that are willing to help you out. And today, ah. Uh... <laughs> All right, shut up. <laughs> eBay sellers, ah. Uh on what I do, how I buy and <laughs> God, that was going good. Hey fellow eBayers. <laughs> Why? <laughs>